What we wanted to do was to go to Greece and try and find some of the stories really behind the headlines. There was a feeling that maybe there was something more there beyond just tales of, of absolute abject misery and suffering, that maybe people might be starting to kind of fight back. We started looking for it really by crowdsourcing. My first tweet said, I will be in Athens looking for stories of hardship and self-help. And can you help? It really, really took off very, very quickly. I remember turning on the phone and just scrolling through literally hundreds of tweets, you know, by the time I got off the plane. I left London with about 400 Twitter followers within three days. I had 800 and by the end of the week I was into sort of 11, 1200. People sent me the most extraordinary stories. I think they saw it as a real chance to change the picture that was being painted of their country. I've seen community food aid projects. I've met doctors, dentists and pharmacists volunteering at medical centres for people who can't keep up their health insurance. I've been to a community web radio station. And there's even a theatre in Thessaloniki that's selling tickets not for money but for food that it will then distribute to the hungry. It really is like sort of putting your fingers into a socket in the wall and you just kind of feel it flowing through you and you really have to, um, you know, you have to give back. There was a real feeling throughout the whole thing that people were in incredibly pleased to be able to have the chance to sort of have their say and put their side of the story and contribute to our coverage and by the end of it I was getting tweets and emails with, with things like, um, you know, thank, thank you so much for, 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 for telling this side of the story that never gets told. And thank you for giving a voice to, to, to people who never re usually get heard. Uh, thank you for making me feel proud to be Greek again was one of them. Not everybody is on social media and you can't hope to meet everybody on social media. You might not be able to meet the person themselves who you really want to get hold to, but you, you're probably going to be able to meet somebody who knows them. I don't see the point of tweeting personally, but I am completely converted to social media as a professional tool. It's a journalistic tool. It's a quite extraordinary asset.